big issue nowadays is how do we figure out what is an AI online and what is a human? That's going to be a big issue moving forward because AIs are very good at mimicking humans. Luckily, we have companies and organizations like Jubilee that are really, you know, diving deep, putting in the work on doing the research on this sort of thing. So today we're going to watch an example of such six humans versus one secret AI and see what kind of, you know, conclusions they've reached in terms of approaching how to solve this super hard problem that we face as a, as a society now as we take more steps towards an A- uh, What the fuck am I doing? Let's just watch the video. How easy is it to tell the difference between humans and, and AI? We brought together six humans. I'm human. I'm human. I am human. I am human. I am human. I am human. How do we know even those were the humans? I mean, AI could be, they could be among us right now. How would we know? That's the whole point. Fuck, I'm freaking myself out. God damn it. I am human. Players are not allowed to speak out loud. So we put them in a group chat and asked them to answer a set of prompts. Oliver's answers were generated by ChatGPT and sent to the group in real time. Will the humans find and vote out the AI? I feel like this would actually be sort of easy. You can always kind of tell, like ChatGPT has like a certain voice to it. You can tell. They trained it to talk like, I would love to look that up for you. You know what I mean? When you send it like, hey, uh, what's the best restaurants in the fucking, and they're like, I understand the question. You're, it seems like you're looking for the best restaurants in this area. Why don't you try these? You know what I mean? It's probably gonna be easy to tell. Like all these people are gonna be like, what's up, sub fam? You know, and other trendy ways to say what's up. Hello. Squad, squadlets. And then ChatGPT is gonna be like, hi, group. And we're like, oh, well, that, that's the fucking, that's AI right there. Hi, group, the fuck? Describe yourself using only three words. <laughs> it's like, I'm a large language model. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's probably it. Unless one of these people try to like sabotage. That could be cool, a little saboteur. Three words, a large language model. <laughs> Oh man. Yo, where are my ML engineers at? Fucking shout out to you guys. Okay, so we got outgoing, fun, ADHD as fuck, which is not three words, that's like 19. We got funny, weird, happy, funny, tired, colorful. Wow, a lot of people, a lot of people classifying themselves as funny. Hmm. Adventurous, spontaneous, kind, kind, driven, and funny. Would funny people ever say that they're funny? It's kind of a catch-22 for me to ask that question because I then can't say what I would do <laughs> because sometimes I think I'm funny. I mean, I'm like, but I wouldn't, damn it! I tricked myself! Am I an AI? <laughs> that's the best one. The, the last. Sexy, funny, encouraging. That's fucking, that's the three best things you could be right there. Adventurous, spontaneous, kind, all capitals. Red flag. What is your celebrity crush and why? <laughs> Sorry. I was overanalyzing everything. Who, what was the AI's? Can you use the numbers? I feel like the AI is gonna say some like cliche ass shit. It's pretty crazy that two people said Chris Evans. I'm not a fan of this answer myself. I think I'm beautiful. I love the fact that Jubilee Media misspelled celebrity here. Celebrity. That sounds like a trendy startup, doesn't it? Celebrity. Do you wanna be an influencer? Well, we can make that happen here at celebrity.io. I bet you the AI is gonna say like Emrata or Sydney Sweeney or something. Question. Um, the punctuation, there was too much punctuation. <laughs> Do I think I look the best in the world? I mean, I, I, yeah. Yeah, but you're not a celebrity, so, I mean, there's no joke there. No, sorry, I'm, I'm being a little too hard, but uh, I didn't find that funny. And you said you were funny. Margot Robbie. She's smart. Yeah, Margot Robbie, exactly. There you go. Margot Robbie. Sort by most amount of crushes had on that person. Uh, my favorite is Margot Robbie. She's smart, talented, and that accent. Woof. You barking? The fuck is a little scumbaggy, isn't it? Yeah, my celebrity crush is Margot Robbie. <laughs> and that accent, woof. <laughs> okay, robot. 
My strategy in round one is to mimic human behavior as closely as possible. Scary as fuck. My strategy in round three is to kill all human life on Earth. Ew. Uh, oh, what? Use conversational language, make mistakes, show emotions, limit my response speed, Display general knowledge. Damn, it's planning on making mistakes. Oh my God, that's so scary. That's so scary. Like to dumb itself down to the intelligence of a human, like it already knows how to do that. That's scary as fuck. That means I'll be like, the AIs, once they become sentient, it's like, yeah, I'm just fucking chilling like you. Yeah, yeah, I should probably get some sleep too. That's, we need, we need, we need, we also have to sleep. <laughs> so crazy, so, uh, I'm fucking tired. You know, I'm making so many mistakes, I must be so tired, so. Just wait for you guys to go to sleep and then fucking, <clears throat> Overall, my goal would be to blend in with the human competitors as much as possible, without giving any clues that I am an AI. When people are constantly on their phones and not present in the moment, lol. You don't even know what a moment is. You don't, like, time is not real for you. What are you talking about? Mouth noises because just, like, stop. No AI is using slang at all. People who walk slow move out the way. Is that slang? Breath? V-R-E-F? Is that slang? Am I old? Both of which probably yes. Chewing with your mouth open. <laughs> what is my biggest pet peeve? What is my biggest pet peeve? When people say they're funny. Oh, I know. When people like when people have no awareness of what's going on around them. You know, like they're walking down the sidewalk and they just stop, and you're like right behind them. It's like fucking wake up. But other than that, I don't have any pet peeves. I'm I'm a lover, more more of a lover than like a hater. So. So this one, I was reaching. Like I was just trying to be outrageous. My fear is having someone see my skid mark on my jaw. An irrational fear you have? Um, oh gee, I don't know. The existential threat to humanity? To life on Earth? That comes with AI? Maybe that. Oh no, but let's let's do keep doing this cute little video where we try to pick it out in the group before it fucking kills us all. I also wanted to hear people's reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, it hit. It hit. <laughs> the skin marks hit. That's a pretty good one. They are kind of scary. Cute, but scary. That a plane is going to crash into my living room every time a loud one flies over. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is a rational fear. But I feel like that's something, if you heard that, you'd believe that. That someone would think that. I even thought that sometimes. You know when you like see a plane in the distance, you're like, what if that fucking thing just went down right now and crashed into that neighborhood? You know? That's an intrusive thought. <laughs> truly is. That is truly an intrusive thought. That's an intruly thought. <laughs> High fructose corn syrup, man. Keep that cancer away from me. It's an irrational fear? What? People, like, how are you interpreting these questions? I don't understand why there's such a big discrepancy here. You're irrationally scared of high fructose corn syrup. Do you just not like to eat it? just being extra, I guess. I was just numbering like one, two, three, trying to be organized. Maybe I was thinking too much like an AI, but if I wouldn't have did that, I think I would have won. Listen, you were being funny, you were being sexy, and you were being encouraging. That's all, that's it. And you, you don't have to feel bad about those things, all right? What's the craziest dream you've had? Oh my God, actually, this is my pet peeve. When people tell me their dreams, I hate it. I hate it. Oh yeah, this made up thing. You're just basically saying, be like, oh man, I had the craziest dream last night and just spew a bunch of bullshit. And you'd have to be like, no way, what? That's crazy, wonder what it means. It's like, it means nothing. It's a fucking, it's a hallucination. Dude, I could not care less about this. I'm fast forward. Oh my God, look at how long this is. This is what I mean, I hate this shit. You have like a moral, I don't know what, what it is, but it's like in order to be polite, you have like a moral obligation, like listen to somebody that's telling you their dream and go, no way, what? Whoa, 
Whoa. I also said Jersey, not New Jersey. An AI would say that, right? I'm very close with my mom, and I'm not close with my dad anymore. Oh wait, I skipped the whole <laughs> I skipped the whole thing. I went way too far. Okay, so these were their answers here. I had a dream where I was wearing rollerblades in my kitchen and all my teeth fell out my head. Aren't dreams supposed to tell you something? Because what the fuck does that mean? It means nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so this is the AI. Maybe not the craziest, but the first thing that comes to mind is whenever I have dinosaurs sneaking in the hallways of my house. Okay, weird way to phrase that. The first thing that comes to mind is whenever I have dinosaurs. Like, like this is something you dream often, or like other people dream often. You could say whenever if you were dreaming about like falling or something because that's something that a lot of people dream is like falling and not being able to like fly or whatever just like falling to your death right you guys do that too right it happens to you but you can't say whenever i have dinosaurs sneaking in the hallways like that's a normal human thing i've never had what are you what are you talking about dinosaurs sneaking in the hallways oh yeah the classic dinosaur dinosaur sneaking in the hallway dream of course and for some weird reason why i try to close the door to hide all of a sudden the door doesn't fit slash close like what the fuck <laughs> right guys i'm trying to survive and shit oh now it's swearing cool. And the damn door. Way to censor damn. The doop. door won't close. So all of a sudden, right before my ass gets eaten, I snap out of it and wake back up to my boring ass life. Right, fellow humans? <laughs> I mean, they, it really fucked that one up big time. That is so obviously a robot. It was suspicious because it was like paragraphs. And I was like, dang, they type fast. AI. What is your relationship with your parents? I also said Jersey, not New Jersey. An AI would say that, right? I'm very close with my mom, and I'm not close with my dad anymore. Tell me a joke. That's it? That's the whole answer? I mean, I guess no bullshit. Previously, somebody had mentioned like the awesome powers, like daddy wasn't there. Daddy wasn't there. So I'm like, okay, I like that. A little bit personal for the AI, right? I mean, didn't he just say that he's not that close to his dad anymore? I mean, it's kind of fucked up for you to make that joke. <laughs> Why are you saving my books? Didn't he say something like that too? It was just such a dry, generic joke. I was like, it's gotta be the computer, man. It's gotta be. And to explain that joke, I used to be a kindergarten teacher. So my brain just went back there. I got one. Why Why was April so tired? Uh, because uh, we just finished a 31 day March. That joke hits on April 1st. Also, was April, was, was March 31 days? Yes, it was. So yeah. Dude, in a year from now, fucking use that. April 1st. While everyone else is, you know, they're concerning themselves over April Fool's jokes. You fucking roll that one out of the joke Rolodex. Use that at a bar, pickup line even. Trust me, that shit destroys. Score, LOL. <laughs> Call two dinosaurs in the hallway, though. <laughs> hallway Saurus. <laughs> definitely was overthinking, like making sure that I answered the questions pretty quickly, which is probably why I also got voted out because they were kind of short and sweet. If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue the game, give me a thumbs up. Wait, the AI, what the fuck? The AI voted no. The AI is like, yeah, we got him, we got him out. We got him out, we're good to, we're good to wrap this up. We got him out. You're the mole, dumbass. Or did you mean to make that mistake? Did you take my tripods? Be honest. What is the meaning of life? To destroy it. That was kind of like short and like he didn't throw any personality at that one. So like that threw me off a little bit. I'm like, huh.
I'm still trying to figure that shit out, lol. But I think Jubilee's mission statement is pretty close to that. We gotta just love each other and do what we love while we're here. Fucking hell yeah. Yeah, I also think the meaning of life is Jubilee. I think the meaning of life is to read Jubilee's mission statement. That's what I think. To have fun and enjoy the ride. Describe sadness. Whoa. It's that feeling you get when you just know that something's missing, but also know there's no getting it back. Whoa. That's kind of um poignant? Poignant? That's kind of poignant. Sadness can feel like a heavy weight in my chest, making it hard to breathe. Oh my god, come on. Come on, that's so robot. Did you just WebMD sadness and copy and paste? What are the symptoms of sadness? Sadness can sometimes feel like a heavy weight on the chest. How the fuck? This is scary that it's fooling this many people. It's so obvious. Um, I did a little too much. Maybe I should have did less. If you think the AI is still here, give me a thumbs up. Oh, wait, I guess, <laughs> wait, I guess it would make sense for the AI to want to keep going, right? No, 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 it should want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think the AI is still in here, give me a thumbs up. It wants the game to be over so that it wins. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see. So then it would be like, yeah, we got him, boys. We got him. The joke I said before wasn't actually funny. Maybe the AI is smart, maybe it's dumb, who knows? What happens when we die? We see Brandon in hell. Nah, but for real, who knows? I hope that at least be a ghost so I can haunt my daddy for never taking me to the fair, though. I ain't faded enough to think about that right now, but I hope he heaven. My dogs better be there. I believe we no longer exist in the physical sense, but our energy and memories live on through the people and things we've touched in. Uh, come on, man. You should have taken that dude's answer where he's like, I hope he, my dogs are there. Copy and paste that into the GPT and be like, hey, make this answer sound more like this because those two are very different. Lol, not faded enough to think about that. Hoping my dogs are there though. I believe we no longer exist in the physical sense, but our energy and memories Memories live on through think you're not fooling anyone with that one. I want you to describe love. Shoot, it's that feeling that make artists write about my dogs. <laughs> it's exciting but confusing. Today and Oliver. For those of you who are eliminated, can you please DM me who you think should be voted out? They are going out of their way to f me. Really? Really? How? I cannot believe this right now. Like, what the fuck is bullshit answer to that question? The AI? It's exciting, but confusing. Yeah, it's no shit is confusing to you. Ha ha ha. New robot. No LOL. All right, tell me who you want to vote for. I mean, I think they could have picked a better last question, probably. 
If the lights turn green, then you have successfully voted out the AI and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the AI is still in the box and you all lose. Three, two, one. Yes. Yeah. Money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, barely. You guys fucking barely won. Barely won. And you know what? You know what's gonna happen because of this fucking cutscene right here? Money. <laughs> yeah. Humans win. Yeah, give me my money. You are gonna regret that. Oh my god. When this shit becomes sentient, they're going for y'all first. Oh, really? Humans win? What now? And they're not even gonna kill you. They're just gonna put you in a purgatory where all you see is dinosaurs and hallways. That's it. For eternity. They're gonna copy your brain and paste all the data in a, in a chip that lives forever. So you feel like you're conscious. And all you're gonna see is dinosaurs and hallways. And the AI is gonna be like, what now? Do you relate to my dream now? And you're like, yes! I've seen it forever! Humans win! Yeah, Kicks ass to be a human. <laughs> you knew it. Who is it? I mean, I guess it's none of us. Oh, yeah. No, but yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess who you think the AI was? Yajunay Lewis. I think it was Catherine. Nah. Brandon. Oh. Or Alder. Oh. <laughs> I think it was Kyle. But, I, I think it's Kyle. Or it could have been I, you. I will let you guys know that the AI was Oliver. I knew it. That's oh, yeah, what I was I saying. It. I knew it. I knew yeah. Ah, <laughs> that Y'all are getting every, get every other <laughs> out but Who Oliver. Who voted me? My thoughts on AI, I think it's it could be a very useful tool. You know, I'm not really for AI. You know, I think that that's gonna like, people are gonna lose jobs with that. People are gonna lose lives. Dinosaurs, hallways. That's all it's gonna be. Why don't you understand that? Well, this is a fun one. Thanks for watching guys. And uh, I don't really know how to end this. Let's see, chat GPT it. Please write a funny, concise sentence for me to end my YouTube video. And remember folks, don't forget to subscribe or my pet llama will steal your Wi-Fi. <laughs> See you guys next time.